Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. And today I had some different plans, but turns out those plans aren't going to work out. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. And today is going to be a warehouse adventure. Because when I went to go find the second crash ship a couple episodes ago, I found a four-story warehouse, which is the biggest I've seen on my world so far. And I think that's a warehouse that I haven't been to. And I want to loot the top of that. I have some extra uh, storage cases here, or storage chests, as you can see. And I plan on looting everything from the top of that warehouse, especially the ramp pieces, which we have been short on for a while, because uh, I just, I don't like the way that these things look without the ramp pieces. See, this one's so much more nice and compact. Then again, this one might need a few ramp pieces to get all the way down to the ground too. I don't know. But ramp pieces just work so much better for these traps. So if you're wondering what I was hoping to do, uh, let me show you guys real quick. Everyone say say hi to Hank though. Everyone wave hi. The more people that wave, then the better chance he'll wave back. There you go. All right, good job, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so Hank's back from getting milk. Um, I checked on my cows earlier. I totally forgot about my cows. And another bot had actually broken into the cow pen and broke the pen. But I repaired it with the weld tool and put the cows back in. So we still got all of our cows. And of course, our glow bug fa our farm is still perfectly fine. I built a little bit on this to make it look a little bit different. I got rid of the lights. Uh, there was too many lights on the sides, and I decided to put the lights up here. The only thing I don't like about it, as you can see, there's a little bit of a disconnect. So it's like they're floating lights, but hey, sometimes you just got to deal with wonky physics and scrap mechanic. So to give you an idea of what I was hoping to do, I got this brilliant idea in my mind after the episode where I built this feeding system. Because the reason why I want glow poo is because I want to do some bomb stuff at some point with like defending my base against bots using bombs. But I still need to farm some more materials before the bombs become an easily expendable resource. So what I was thinking I might be able to do is... What if I could create a bomb launcher? Because these things launch blocks and fruit and stuff out of the ch out of the large chests. So I thought, oh, what if I actually put like a vacuum pump on a large chest and that large chest actually has bombs in it. And then if I hit the switch, the bomb should go shooting out. But then I was thinking, well, will they go shooting out and then explode on impact? Or will it act like a block where it essentially gets built onto the terrain? So to give you an idea of what the answer to this is, if you guys have not tried it already or see anybody else try it, if you hook up the vacuum pump right up to a switch like that. So now this is um, a functional piece of equipment right here. You can see if I put some uh, wood blocks into the thing and then I press the switch, um, nothing happens because that's probably too far away. So if I put this here, there we go. You can see it shoots the block out, the block lands right there. But now, um, oh, let me get that back. If I take this out and put explosives in, I was like, is it gonna shoot explosives? But then you press the button and then literally just not nothing, nothing happens, unfortunately. It, for some reason, the chests do not see these as a shootable object. And see, even if I put like a carrot in here, I'm assuming it's just gonna shoot the carrot. Oh wait, it doesn't shoot the carrot. Oh, did they? Wait, is this going in? Why is that going in? Oh, maybe that's what the issue was. All right, so it shoots the carrot. Now let's put the explosives back in here now that that isn't on the wrong direction. And yep, see, still red. Still red, unfortunately. But if I have explosives in here and wood, it just ignores the explosive completely and shoots the wood out. So yeah, unfortunately, that idea turned out to be completely undoable the way that the game works. So I'm not going to do that idea. So instead, I saw a handful of comments saying I haven't done a warehouse run in a while and you guys wanted to see a warehouse run. So we're going to do some warehouse runs. I'm not going to be taking the explosives to the warehouse with me because even though the you can explode the walls and get to the encryptors and stuff, the encryptors don't have any real functionality. And if you've seen people claiming that they have activated the decryptors or whatever, or decrypted the warehouse, they've actually used dev console commands to do that as a workaround. And it's not actually happening officially in the game mechanics themselves. They're just enabling it using uh, the dev commands, which I don't want to do that. I want to play the game the way that the, the way that everybody else plays the game. All right, we're all fueled up. We're all good on food. We're all good on liquids. And I think we are ready to go out on our adventure to find this four story warehouse. And after this, I'm probably gonna have to grow some potatoes because uh, I have not. 
I have not grown potatoes in a while, and I'm finally running short on ammo. And make sure that my car is also filled with ammo. There we go. Just in case we run into some bosses out in the field. I haven't used my uh, my Gatling gun on this thing in a long time, actually. All right, we are ready to go. If anything eventful happens uh, on my way, then I will be sure to let you guys know and give you guys a glimpse of what's going on. I just realized I might want a warehouse key if I'm gonna be going to a warehouse. So I'm gonna head back real quick and get myself one of like the 30 <laughs> warehouse keys that I have. Look at that Haybot, he's having a fun time. <laughs> All right, back off to the adventure. gentlemen we have arrived four-story warehouse right here oh let me uh let me get in my bed just to make sure that this is my spawn point that would be really unfortunate if my spawn point was back at my base i'm gonna turn my volume up so i can hear oh oh yeah there is definitely a tape bot near here there he is all right Two, tr two treasure chests over here as well. Let's see what we get out of these things. Oh yeah, two component kits. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. This is going to be a good run. That's already a good sign. Alright, so I don't have a lot of room left. So if I find a lot more stuff while I'm in the warehouse, that's going to not be fun. Especially, oh, up in the top, I'm going to need some room to take that stuff. So I don't want so many chests on me, I guess. All right, so I am on the southwest corner of the warehouse. So when I get to the roof, I know exactly where to go. All right, um, let's top off our food and liquid. I have one chest on me, so I guess that's something. And we are going to, we're gonna, this is it. We're, our journey starts now. I don't know if there's a boss here. Oh, there's a boss here. It's right there. Okay, it'll be most efficient to kill the boss with my car. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who's shooting me? Okay. Okay. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ah. Oh, that was bad. I had my mouse sensitivity at the wrong sensitivity. I way overshot there. <laughs> okay. Let's not die. Let me lead him back here. I want to make sure I can back up consistently. All right. Here we go. This is it. Yeah, he's going to be dead in no time. You ready for this? Ah, ah, my vehicle is going forward automatically. And he's dead, just like that. And that is how you kill the boss with a Gatling gun vehicle. All right, let's get that, let's get that. All right, I feel like now we're good to get inside and uh, explore the warehouse. So let's do this. All right, where is the entry? Oh, is it way over there? Of course, it's going to be way over there. There's a treasure chest over here, though. So let's go check out this treasure chest. I'm going to turn my volume up some more. I really want to be able to hear these tape bots walking. Oh, there's one. Yeah, he's fine. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this. They're just guarding that entrance. They are just guarding that entrance. Oh, there's another one right near here. Okay. Any more by the entrance? Any more around? I think we're okay. All right, let's put the key in. This is definitely a warehouse that we... Did I really put all my keys back at the... This is the second time I've done this. I was like, let's clear out my inventory so I'll be all good to loot the warehouse. <laughs> and I leave my key in the car, of course. Okay, now we are ready to go into the warehouse. I brought two chests with me this time. I got one chest, two chests, because I think I could fit all the ramp pieces into these two chests, and then we'll be good to uh, just loot the rest or weld the rest of the warehouse. 
but the rat piece are the most important, so I want those nice and contained. You know what, now that I know where the elevator is, I probably should have moved my vehicle close to the elevator for my eventual inevitable deaths. I won't have as far to walk. I'll just move it next time after I die, or maybe this will be a zero death run, who knows. All right, here we go, floor one. Yep, I already hear one on either side of me here. Fantastic, there we go. There's one down. How was that a miss? There's another one down. There's three down already. There's four down. Man, this is a packed entranceway, isn't it? There's another one over here. Probably on the other side of that. This is a really packed entranceway. Okay, I think we're good on this side so far. Collect some batteries and take a look down. There's a ramp right here. I've, I don't think I've ever been in an entrance that was laid out this way. I'm actually not sure which way. There's so many ways to go already. What is this? Warehouse. There's a warehouse right here already? I don't think I've seen this layout of a warehouse before. Have I been in a four-story warehouse before? I don't know if this is my first time in a four-story warehouse. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go up. Let's go up. We did good on the first we good did good on the entrance. We're still on the first floor, of course. There's already these vents. This is such a new layout for me. Do I use the vents? I don't know if I should use the vents or not. Oh, this just goes into the warehouse. Where's the other way go? Oh, this goes up? Okay, ooh, ooh, leg spike there. Where am I? Oh, this is also going into the warehouse. Aren't I gonna take like fall damage here? That's, oh, oh, there's two tape bots right there. Oh, he tried to shoot me. Did you see that? He fell. He fell. Oh, he still got me. I don't know if he's alive. Okay, he's dead. All right, I kind of want to shoot that guy way over across. Oh, I got scared. I don't know what their range is. Like when, how far can they be when they start shooting? All right, let's wait to heal a little bit. I think we can take another hit if we get shot. I'm going to go through the warehouse, I guess, because it seems like a lot of stuff is leading in this direction. But it sounds like there is a tape bot right underneath me. So I'm going to try to be vi very careful. I don't know where this tape bot is. So the thing with tape bots is they have pinpoint accuracy and pinpoint leading estimations. So the only real way to dodge a shot is to change where you're going to be because they're always going to shoot where they think you're going to be at the time that they shoot. So that's the only way to really dodge a shot, because if you are if you are where they predicted you're going to be, then you're going to get hit every time. So if you're standing still, it's pretty much a guaranteed hit. If you if you're moving in a constant direction, it's pretty much a guaranteed hit. Only by changing directions do you have a chance at surviving or not getting hit. All right. See, just like that. He thought I was going to keep going, but I moved back as soon as I saw him, and then he missed. So that's good. Sometimes there are tape bots in the bathroom, but sometimes there are loot chests in the bathroom. So I'm just going to do a real quick chest. <laughs> check. Check. Not chest. Chext. All right, we got another rampway going up. No idea if I'm on the right track or not. I feel like I always, I feel like I don't really run into dead ends in warehouses. I always eventually find my way onto the right path. It seems like everything is just kind of interconnected. Of course, of course. There we go. Oh, look at all this soil. Can't even pick it up either. Nope. 
Not that I want more soil. My farm is already big enough as it is. There's totally a bot right underneath here, isn't there? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. I feel like I'm going a little bit faster than I normally do through warehouses. Alright, let's do this. Perfect. Nice component kit drop too. I love that they drop component kits sometimes. I wish they would drop them every time. That's a battery. I'm okay with batteries. Storage. Nah, it's a dead end. All right, utility. Yeah, this is what we want. Utility usually leads to elevator. Elevator, there it is, first floor. First floor done. I think sometimes, usually uh, tape bots are not guarding the elevator, but I have had it happen, I think, once before. So I'm always gonna be careful now when I go to elevator areas. All right, first floor, flawless. Well, not flawless, we got hit like twice, two or three times, but no deaths. So in that sense, it was flawless. All right, I'm just gonna refill. During the elevator ride. That way when we do get hit, we heal faster. And we're I have five more milk left. Alright, here it goes. Second floor. Two more to go after this. Alright, bathroom over there. Alright, this room's clear. Storage? We don't want to go to storage. Let's go. Okay. It's always difficult when they're literally right on the other side of the tape. There we go. Whew. All right, you know what? I always forget sometimes that I have third person view and I can use third person to look around corners. I don't know why I forget that I can do that. Okay. So I gotta remember that. That is a useful strategy for peeking corners. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, he's not facing me. <sighs> oh, close call. Close call. I hate when they group up together like that. Really hate when they group up together like that. Let's just let's just heal here for a little bit. <laughs> oh man. All right, I think we're more than halfway healed. Gives me the confidence I need to venture out and maybe take another hit. Ooh, chest. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's just like a isolated room. Let's explore in there. Ooh. Why is this room blocked off? Ah, nice to go. Ooh, broccoli. Okay, fertilizer. Twelve fertilizer. That that seems like a lot of fertilizer for a single chest. All right, what do we got going on over here? Oh boy. I thought I didn't hear any norm. I didn't hear any more movement. That's why I was running around through here. I thought this area was cleared. Guess not though. All right, here we go. I definitely hear. Some stuff in this direction. All right, I'm gonna keep going up. That was nerve wracking. I got full health though, so we're kind of okay. But then if you run into two tape bots and they both shoot and hit you, then you're just insta-dead. Ah, hello. Can you see through glass? I guess not. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of a waste of spuds, but it was an interesting strategy to try. Go. 
that plant. I don't know why I thought I would go through the plants. Alright, what is this? What is this area? I hear... I hear footsteps. Where are they? There's a chest in that room. Is it being guarded? Oh, it is. I don't know what causes what I'm going to call tape bot frenzy, where all of a sudden they all know where you are and start charging after you. But that's definitely a thing that happens. I think it's like when you miss a shot sometimes, or you take a shot that isn't a kill shot, like you hit its body or its legs, then all the tape bots in the immediate area zero in on you and start like grouping up and charging at you for some reason. All right, why does that go back down? What about over here? It just keeps going back down. So I'm just gonna go the way that was blocked. All right, here we go. That's why you gotta keep moving. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to find this here. All right. I needed some component kits too. Sometimes I forget that warehouse runs also give you component kits. I always see it as like, you know, you get the... Oh my goodness, there's four of them. Is that four? How many are right here? Two, three, yeah, there's four of them right there. Oh, that's not fun. Man, that first floor was so big and complicated though. I'm worried that I'm gonna run into more tape bots on my way, trying to find my way back because I'll take like an alternate path or something. All right, here we go, first floor. Where did I go? I went through the garage, or not the garage, the uh, warehouse. All right, I found my way to the first floor elevator without any issues. Now I just gotta find my way to my body on the next floor where there are four, oh man, there are four tape bots guarding my bag. I am so dead. And my game crashed in the elevator. Let's hope this isn't game breaking. All right, I'm still in the elevator. Got back in, no problem, we're good. This is not good. This is not good. This is really not good, guys. Okay, we respawn, respawning's okay. But that's a, that's a bag I'm never getting back, pretty sure. Okay, let's hope that this warehouse isn't broken. All right, made it back to the second elevator. Please don't glitch out on this elevator. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm fro- Oh, okay. Okay, don't scare me like this, game. Don't scare me like this. Please let me survive. Yes, yes, I'm here. There's my bag. Now, which way did I go? Okay, I'm close. I can already hear them. Yep, they're at the bottom of the stairs. They're all there. Do you hear that? They are all here. They destroyed the floor. Oh no, they're gonna kill me. I didn't get hit though. I'm, I'm actually really surprised at myself for not getting hit at all. Okay, so now we're still only on the second floor. We got the rest of this floor and another two floors of this. And the last one involves explosive red tape bots. All right, where are they gonna be? I'm gonna go towards that chest. <laughs> right as he looks at me. All right, I'm always gonna follow the taped off paths. I've had luck with that. All right, so there's one, there's two. And where does that go? That goes to utility, it looks like. This might be the end of this floor. Oh, man. 
My aim is off today. My aim is very off today. Okay, there we go. Elevator. Elevator. Good way. Good, good place to recover. Alright, second floor down. One death so far. Alright, here we go. Third floor. Already hear them. still got me because when you aim down sights you don't really move that fast side to side so it's hard to like get good accuracy while strafing what? how many are there oh god man all right oh okay i was like how many spuds do i have up here let me let me go ahead and put my spuds down so i can get a constant Indicator of how many spuds I have left because I'm actually slightly concerned at this rate with four levels and how Erratic these tape lots have been. I'm concerned about my ammo usage Utility office. I'm gonna go office oh, I hate this area I really dislike this area of the warehouses the first time I died in the warehouse and lost everything was in this type of area, so not good memories for me. Alright, let's just keep chugging through though. Stuff I don't I don't know exactly the tape box level of awareness because sometimes it looks like their head is turned at me, but it doesn't seem like they see me unless their body is facing towards me. And I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know how their view, their field of view works. All right, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Yeah, there we go. This looks about right. Okay, is that just one? This one, is he facing? No, he's facing directly towards me. I hear stuff right underneath me. All right, he's facing directly towards me, which is not good. But we can still deal with it. Just gotta be quick. Is there another treasure chest over here? Nope. <laughs> okay. He's not facing me right now. All right, we're doing good. We're knocking them down one by one. It's always best when they have no idea where you are. <gasps> Unlike that. And you can just take them out stealthily without them ever seeing you. Oh, two, tr two treasure chests here. I'm not hearing any tape on movement right now. So I'm feeling a bit secure. Oh, now I hear one. Those treasure chests were not very fulfilling. See, he heard me. He definitely heard me. I hear a frenzy. Tape by frenzy. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was definitely multiple tape bots moving very quickly. No, 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 no. I thought I was dead. I was like, I'm definitely getting shot in this hallway. I cannot believe I survived that. All right. Well, another taped off pathway. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't know anymore. I'm going to go down these stairs. I hope I didn't just like go up here for nothing.
I feel like I'm just looping back down to the bottom. But why? There's someone in here. In one of these rooms. See, he looked at me and didn't react. What? Is there not anybody in these rooms? Okay. Is there a treasure chest? There we go. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Oh, you still got me. You see how quick they are, man? Elevator. Oh, we're here. I guess I did go the right way after all. All right, third floor. That means one more floor left. All right, that wasn't, that floor wasn't so bad. It, well, getting chased by a couple of tape bots down a hallway with very little cover was pretty bad, but overall, most of the tape bots we were able to take out without any, uh, without any back and forth encounter. Okay. I hope I'm, I hope I've been counting right and that this is in fact the last floor. I feel like it is. I think the last floor always has this on it, like right, right outside the elevator. Yeah, this is definitely the last floor. I don't see anyone down here immediately. All right, is that a red one? That's a red one right there. And he's like facing at me too. Oh man. This is bad, because then even if he misses, he can still hurt me. And I've never been actually hurt by a red one. Oh, he's facing a different way now. I've never actually been hit directly by a red one, or indirectly by a red one. Oops, I don't want to switch guns. Okay, let's just keep going. Keep going. Okay, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Anybody down there? The last floor is always bigger than I remember it being. I always think I'm like almost done and then I'm not. All right, we're doing okay so far. Ow, ow, okay. I've been hit by a red tape bot now. I don't know if that triggered anybody else to come. I don't know how much damage that did. It said 14, so I think two different things did damage, like the impact and the explosion did two different, two different sets of damage. I don't know, but that definitely took more than 55. Okay. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I thought he like took out the floor and I had to like jump a gap or something. That's crazy how much damage he did. Look at all this. Wow. Man, that would be... I'm so glad tape, uh, red tape bots aren't part of raids. How terrible would that be? Alright. Are you gonna hit me as soon as I open this? Oh, that's scary. That is so scary. There's one right there. I think that side is clear. Ready for this? Oh, never mind. I was gonna do something fancy, but he gave me an easier opportunity, and I'm not about to take some risks right now on level four. Well, that's quite a hole, isn't it? Oh, I tried to dodge to the left, but it wasn't fast enough. Okay, heal. All right, I think we're safe now. Almost at the grates. All right, let's get in here. <sighs> okay, there's a, usually every single time I go through these grates, there's a tape bot waiting exact, like just outside. One or two tape bots waiting just outside the exit, which is always super difficult because you're cornered. You're like, you're pinned inside the vent. So there's not a lot of room 
for dodging. All right, here we are. Yep, see? Look, I just, this is exactly what I said. I'm just pinned here. There's two. And I have like, oh, I have like no room. Oh, he's facing the other way now. He's facing the other way. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to move. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was going to be three. I am so lucky he didn't shoot in here with those explosives. That would have been a death sentence. Oh, I am so lucky. Whoa, look at that crater. All right, see, so, yeah, this is the issue, is I always think once I get out of this vent that I'm like, I'm done. But no, there's so much more. Wait, is this? Oh, <gasps> yes. All right, I made it to the to the treasure room, but getting to the roof is still, there's a lot more to go through to get to the roof. All right, but at least we got some relief, some interesting stuff to find. Oh, that's different. There's usually not an epic treasure out here. They're usually all in there. It's just an extra one. All right, got some suspensions. This is what I kept my inventory mostly clear for. All right, what do we got? Circuit board, level three seat, orange, that thing, component kit. This isn't really that great. A level three controller, some spuds, off-road suspension. Eh, that was okay. Only two component kits though. Not really super impressed with that. 10 component kits in there. And then of course, the usual garment boxes. All right, so that leaves me with this much open. So I could have taken some more chests with me, but you know, I wanted to be better, be better be safe than sorry and have to leave stuff behind. All right, now to get to the roof where the real loot is. I was a little bit, a little bit reckless there. I was, for some reason, just having my own thoughts in my head and not really paying attention to what I was doing. I came from there. I came from there and nobody was there. Oh, just the fourth floor, guys. I gotta get all the way up to the fourth floor again. I can't believe that. How does a bot come up behind me after I've already cleared the area? He didn't even shoot me whenever I must have walked by him. He must have like, he like followed me or something. All right, back to the fourth floor we go. Hopefully I don't die of hunger by the time I get there. Ah, oh, my game crashed again in the elevator going up to the fourth floor. I hope this doesn't mean that I'm going to get kicked out of the elevator and die again and have to start over. All right, we're about to find out now. I'm really nervous because last time I loaded in in a moving elevator, I got kicked out and died. So what's gonna happen this time? Whoa. This is not where my game crashed. Okay, I'll take this over crashing inside the elevator, I guess, even though I did crash inside the elevator. Dang, my body is surrounded on both sides by tape bots, so I gotta be really careful once I approach. Here I am. There was a tape bot that followed me out here from somewhere. Where is he now? Oh, there he is. Wait, my bag is... I died on the staircase. Why is my bag down there? Why is my bag down there? Okay, I can reach it from here. Good, good, good. Please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Okay, where's my... Where's, I'll do, I'll do this, I'll do this. All right, we are now safe, or not, we're not safe. We're now alive. We're gonna, we're gonna survive thirst and hunger. I might as well eat the broccoli too. Okay, now there's definitely more tape bots. Don't know where. Sounds like they're right down this staircase. Man. I hear them really, really close, but he's not, he's not showing himself. There, there he is. There's two down there, I think. It sounds like two. 
I think I can ignore him. I'm going to ignore him. Elevator, yes. You know what? I know this is risky, but what if he has a component kit? See? No problem. No problem. Ah, just a stupid battery. Oh well. Alright. Here it is. This should lead us up to the roof. Alright. We have made it. So now, uh, where is my vehicle? There it is. My vehicle is over by the helipad, actually. That's kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything I have here now and put this stuff into a chest. And then I'm going to collect all the ramp pieces. And I'm going to also put those into a chest over here. Because my vehicle... Can I see my vehicle from here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's not bad. This is actually good. This helipad is in a perfect position. All right. So if I just put this down and I just load it up with all this stuff I don't need to be carrying right now. Perfect. Now my inventory is super clear so I can grab a whole bunch of these ramp pieces and then I have a second chest on me. And if I get too full, I could just put the rest of these into that. All right, and now my inventory is full again. So let's go ahead and fill up. Where's my... I thought I had another... Oh, I think my other chest is in that chest. All right, so some of these are just going to stack. So that's good. And I get this chest out of here. Now I put this chest down and fill it up with the ramp pieces. All right, so now these chests I can just literally toss off the roof. And they should be down there. Let's watch them fall. Here they go. They fall so slow. Oh, I hope they didn't go through the gr They just disap- I hope they didn't fall through the ground and like disappear forever. That would be terrible if I just lost all of that work. All right, so now I'm gonna grab- I want some more of these uh, base pieces. I still- I don't want to grab too much of this stuff because I now I know that I can get this stuff from the bottoms of the warehouse as well. So I guess I'm just gonna fill up my inventory with whatever else I find up here. And then we'll just head back home. I'm not going to do the whole every single piece like I did last time. So I'm going to use my new favorite method of getting off of the warehouse now, which is put your toilet seat down and hop in it as it falls. <laughs> Please let my treasure chest be down here. Oh yeah, they're right next to my- look at that! Look at- oh no. <gasps> Please don't lose my toilet. <laughs> here we go again, guys. Here we go again. <laughs> Oh no, is this going to be a never-ending cycle right now? Okay, phew. That was, uh, that was a bit concerning. I didn't know how that was going to go. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Alright, extra treasure chest. There we go. Extra treasure chest. There we go. And now, we head back home. We got plenty of daylight to get back home too. found another scrap town, which is a great spot to loot lamps from. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of this while I am here and get some more of those lights that I keep using so much of. And more scrap wood while I'm at it, since scrap wood gets us um, cardboard. All right, I think I've gotten everything I'm satisfied with, so let's continue on the journey home. Oh, what is wrong with my car? Something terrible has happened. Oh, okay, it's fixed. We're good now. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, let's continue on our journey home.
All right, and we have returned home, and Hank is out getting some more milk, I guess. <laughs> oh man, frames are really bad over here. Man, I'm just getting, I'm getting 30 frames at my base right now. I hope nothing's like broken. All right, but we had a good take. We got a lot more ramps now, so I can start adjusting those, um, those traps up in the front. I'm hoping that, oh, I'm hoping that my frames are going to come back at some point. I used to be able to get 60 frames at my base, but now I went out on a journey, came back, and now it's 30. All right, I think I've finished offloading everything that I've looted, and uh, it was actually, we looted a lot more than I thought. I filled up a lot of chests with all that stuff, so it was a pretty fruitful expedition, despite our frustrations with dying and crashing and all that stuff. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see happen in future episodes, because the comments are what made this episode happen. I look forward to reading them, and uh, if you want to see more awesome content on the channel like this, then you're going to want to check out the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!